When I was just a little game Jew, there was a game that seemed perpetually on the horizon because I anticipated, desired, longed for, with every fiber of my being ached to hold the controller in my hand and experience it with such total emotional abandon that minutes seemed like hours and days felt like rows of eternities one after another designed for the sole purpose of keeping me from it. Super Mario Bros. 3. Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, even Mario Galaxy. I'm excited for Mario Galaxy, but there was something about being eight years old and hearing vague rumors, reading seemingly cryptic Nintendo Power reports about the facts of the game, getting a piecemeal picture of what it will be like, a hint here, a tease there, Mario can fly, he becomes a frog, whistles, secrets, that makes my current anticipation pale in comparison. To anticipate a game in this way and to have it deliver, it confirms a young boy's faith in humanity. I had never looked forward to something the way that I looked forward to Super Mario Bros. 3, and when it came out, it was clear that I had never played anything quite like it either. My friends and I sat around, handing the controller back and forth, playing, dying, playing, and feeling more at peace with the world than we had ever felt before, and maybe since. Super Mario Bros. 3 was the kind of game that changed my outlook on life. Maybe I saw what was possible to witness such a gigantic leap in technology and game design, to witness a masterpiece unfold before my very eyes, and to have the experience be shared culturally with millions of other kids the world over, a common language of Mario, the great uniter. You got this sense when playing, even for the first time, that it was a timeless experience, that you and the game were one, and while you were discovering things for the first time, it was as if you had been there before, perhaps in a dream, perhaps in the collective unconscious, but certainly you were not alone. This game made that clear. I'm curious if there are kids now that are as excited for, say, Mario Galaxy, and I'm curious if Miyamoto will be able to again defy our expectations and go beyond what any of us could ever imagine. Whatever happens, I can still play Mario 3 and recall that feeling of exploration and stomping Goombas mixed perfectly with a sense of oneness with the world.